Hey, it's Tom from the Corona team. Going to have a look at how you might save some time when rendering an animation. Um, what we have here is a standard test scene, interior scene, um, just five passes of denoising on. Uh, but what I want to look at is the GI pre comp, which we can see is eight seconds. That's not going to uh, have any impact on you in a still image, but when you've got an animation set up, um, then you may find that uh, that 8 seconds is going to be multiplied by 10 or 50 or 300 or 3000 depending on how many frames you have in your animation and that can add up to uh, quite a little bit of extra time so uh, let's take a look at the render settings we're in here, the performance tab and you'll want to make sure that the UHD cache options are expanded if you're doing an animation, you'll want to set it to animation, flicker free. And you'll note the defaults are calculate from scratch and then discard the UHD cache once rendering is complete. And that means for every frame, it will repeat that calculation. So let's say you want to cut down on that time. Your first step is to save the UHD cache once it's calculated. We'll need to leave that to set to calculate from scratch, but we change our after render to save to file. Next step is to specify where you want that saved. Uh, as well as giving it a file name, you'll have to give it a path name. And one thing to consider here is whether you'll be using network rendering, which is quite common when doing an animation, you'll want to share the work across a network. If you are, then uh, two options. One is to save the file to a network drive, one that all the machines can see and access. Uh, your other option, if you don't have a network drive, uh, is to uh, simply copy the file onto each machine manually, uh, make sure it goes into exactly the same path name, and then every machine will load the identical local version uh, when it comes time to render. I'll uh, also add at this point that the same is true if you're using uh, distributed rendering. Um, uh, in other words, uh, a single frame is being shared and rendered by multiple computers on the network uh, versus just using, say, Backburner, where each machine will render an entire frame. Uh, this, the same principle ap applies to the location of the uh, of the UHD cache, you need to make sure that either it's on the network drive or you copy the uh, file to exactly the same path name on uh, each individual machine. And then when you use distributed network uh, rendering, uh, that will work too, whether you're doing a single frame or an animation, uh, and that way you can reuse the UHD cache. Okay, with that set, we are going to move over to scene. I'm going to turn off denoising to avoid having an error message pop up. It needs at least two passes, and we don't actually need any passes. Uh, we're going to set a time limit of one second. This actually won't complete even uh, one frame, one full pass, but that's okay. We don't need those passes. We just need the pre-calculations. So with that done, we hit render. And you can see it going through the... Uh, Computing secondary GI phase, which is what we need. That's what's going to save to the UHD cache. And then, when that completes, it'll stop rendering. As you can see, we only have part of the first pass done, but that doesn't matter um, because we have the information we need saved in our UHD cache. Okay, so now we've saved all that hard work. And now what we want to do is use it each time. So we change it to load from file. Now, when I hit render, set my passes back up and my denoise to what I want to use. And I can hit render. You'll see the GI precomp is zero. It didn't have to recalculate it. It simply loaded it straight in. Uh, and that will save you those seconds on every frame, and that does add up. Now, one thing I will note is that this is ideal on animations where only the camera moves, 
if there's no moving lights or objects. And uh, if you have an object that moves or a light that moves in your scene, it may be that you still have to recalculate the GI cache every uh, frame. Because obviously what the UHD cache is storing is the light bouncing around the scene and if an object has moved or a light has moved then uh, that may well be very different uh, in one frame than in another. You can certainly try it and see. Uh, it may or may not have an obvious impact on the scene depending on the scene and the materials on the object and exactly where those things are moving. So you can certainly investigate, uh, but if you have no moving lights and no moving objects, then pre-calculating it, saving it and loading it back in is an ideal way to save yourself some time when rendering out your animations. Hope you found this useful.